in here behind me, there's quite a bit of cerecia that we burned in this spring. Cattle got dumped in here a couple of weeks ago on that. There's grazing on well over half the cerecia that's just in one little area. You know, they're, they're actually utilizing it. So it's got pretty good forage quality as well. But again, we can utilize hopefully fire, then utilize the grazing on top of it to, get, to either maintain it or at least maybe start it down a road of decline for a little bit. Cerecia likes fire. We have seen some reductions in cerecia cover with growing season burns, so burning during the growing season compared to just dormant or spring burns, traditional burn season. The cerecia seems to be more flammable, especially if you have larger uh, growth of cerecia, more, more denser stands of cerecia. It seems to burn better even in the growing season. It's a lot more flammable, has leaves on it and stuff, and it's a little more flammable than, than we see those dense stands in the in the springtime or late winter, whenever there's no leaves on it, it's just a bunch of stems, twigs that are sticking up. They just, they're just they not real flammable, and so they don't burn, so you don't get a fire to really go across them. Plus also, a lot of times you can you can burn it enough in the growing season that you'll remove a lot of that, over, that old growth and stuff off of it so the cattle can get to it and graze. That's a big part of it. What we typically call a growing season burn is a burn that's conducted any time when the plant community is actively growing. So anywhere from, you know, let's say the first part of April until sometime in September. When stuff's actively growing, May is definitely a good time to be burning in the growing season. You know, we get quite a bit of rainfall typically in May. So a lot of times once you burn, you know, you're gonna get rain really short time period after that and stuff just regrows really quick. Same thing in June, July and August, you know, you're gonna see a little slower recovery on certain things. It's gonna depend on the time since rainfall. If I was gonna to try to work and control cerecia, I'd be looking at growing season burns and looking at patch burning to get the grazing, the fire and the grazing effects on the cerecia to knock about. You're not ever gonna get rid of it, but it's gonna definitely at least maintain it at that level and not, not let it increase as much, or it can start to decline.